most of the people get a little bit surprised when we talk about the work that we do combining artificial intelligence and wildlife conservation. I believe that technology will be crucial to stop the massive extinction that, that we are currently facing, to sustain our world uh, as, as we know it. Hello, my name is Victor and I am the founder of Wildlife.ai. Wildlife.ai started as a thought that I came across when I was doing my PhD at Victoria University in Wellington, where I was working with uh, camera traps. When you get all the footage from the devices, you are really excited and you start to go through it manually. But for 3,000 hours of video, you might need more time to, to actually make sure that it is properly labeled and all the, all the individuals are, are identified. So yeah, it is, it, is a, it is hard. I started to learn more about what machine learning is and how it can be used to deal with this processing the, the footage. I saw that there was a gap between those tools and conservation. Wildlife.ai is a charity that uses artificial intelligence to accelerate wildlife conservation. We use machine learning and mostly around computer vision to identify animals and to better monitor them and understand where they are. And the machine learning goes through the, through the footage or through, through the audio and identifies the, the species. Machine learning is just a way to analyze information that is uh, typically related to the way that we analyze information. We are trying to um, demystify what artificial intelligence is. Most of the people think that it's going to take over the entire world and that we are not going to be able to control it. But we are far away from that. For me, it's just a way to analyze lots of information. It has happened with calculators and with other technology on the past. And I think that this is just one more technology that will really help us. It will depend on us how we use this technology. We are trying to demystify also the idea that um, wildlife conservation is just only for experts. It is something that everyone can be involved with. So one of the projects uh, that we have at Wildlife.ai is called the Weather Watcher. So we are developing um, this open source camera which actually gets triggered by, um, by movement. We are getting photos of Weta, we are getting photos of spiders, and the camera has the capabilities of using machine learning. It will be automatically identifying what kind of animal is in front of the camera and just sending a message back to the conservation manager or the community group or anyone who is in charge of that protected area and trying to see what they can do to, to better protect uh, native species. We want to make sure that the results of the projects are shared with the community. So one of the events that we are going to be organizing is to have the students to actually present the project. By presenting the results uh, back to the community, it will kind of like close the loop and the community will be able to understand how this technology is being developed by non-expert audiences and how it can be used by the community. Our vision for Wildlife.ai in 50 years, it will be for everyone to understand what artificial intelligence is about, what can be achieved with this technology, and how it could be used for, for good causes. We see that the way that we are um, going is not sustainable, so we really need to, to change, and we believe that um, some of these technologies can, can really make a difference.
we really have to take some serious action. So we are offering what we believe could be a very big industrial change that would have been a landfill if we hadn't grabbed it. We've got to see this as a better outcome. Sometimes we have to step out to, to bring change and that's what we've been doing. Mm -hmm.